goody. Oh, golly gee, let's do a Mom Truth Friday. Who knew that when you became a mom, you got worry? It's like you, you wear a badge of worry. You're like a worry wart. All day long. Everyone stop. Just stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. You stop it. Everyone's worries. Like, my kid's not eating. You know what? They're going to eat. Like, they're going to eat. They're going to eat something. They're not going to starve themselves to death. No. So we end up feeding them snacks all day long. Of course they're not going to eat. If you ate snacks all day, you wouldn't be hungry for dinner either. I feel like everyone stresses so much about, like, extracurricular, like, music and language and massage. I'm pretty sure that in, in other places in the world, they're not worried about whether their kid is in music class at three weeks old. Throw the radio on. They'll sing. You know, take That's the pressure off. If you guys are so worried about the 60 minutes of activity outside of the classroom, kids move. Swim class, holy freaking, everyone's like, my kids oh, gotta, gotta swim, learn. my they kids gotta, gotta, gotta swim. swim, they're swim. gonna drown. That's a deal oh, breaker, gosh. swimming. I'm pretty sure my baby swims in the bath every day. Why would you want to no. get in a bathing suit and get in the pool for fun with a baby? When in the bath? did Michael Phelps start swimming? They never need to know the butterfly, just they, so you know. Yeah, you know what? They don't need the front crawl either. They need to learn how to float on their back, on their front. When they're four years old, throw them in a pool and sit with them and they will learn how to swim. Oh. Potty training. Holy cow. You know what? They're not gonna be 10 with a diaper on. When they're begging to take the diaper off, then you put them on the toilet. Just lead by example. You use the toilet, one day they too will use the toilet. And don't worry about spending quality time with them every dang day. You got a busy life. I know that my parents did not worry about quality time with me. Right. I know they read the paper, they were on the phone and they were working. I'm pretty sure my job was to go and play. And I'm pretty sure their job was to be grownups and grownups look boring. You turned out great, and you like your parents. Don't worry if they don't want to wear the whole snowsuit get up air dang no, I'm, I'm not joking with this one. You know what? Right? It's a natural consequence. If they walk out the door without a jacket, huh? guess what? They're mm. going to be cold. They'll wear a jacket the next time. Don't worry so much about having too many treats. Go to the birthday party, have the cake. If there's a birthday party again on Sunday, have the cake again. They're going to be okay. Why do we worry so much about what they wear? Why do we care if they have red pants on and a red top? Why do we care, like, or like pink and red? Who cares? You know what, save it and put the energy into you every once in a while. I'm pretty sure our moms were happy if we were dressed, if we were fed, somewhat, like on our, our you know, fed. And if we like, look like if we showed up and we're like pretty happy. We worry about everything. Who do you think is the least worrying country out there? Hmm, people who don't have that much time to worry. If you're worried about something, Put it below, say it out loud, and then maybe you'll stop worrying about it. It's about the sweet and the sour and how your family's doing okay. And leaving, get in the taxi, kissing the backseat, tell the driver, make the radio play. And I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your